And we're back, Nimrandir and Mr. Disarde. First name still to be determined. Coming back for some more Greedfall. So I found out something kind of unusual. So I quit, you know, I quit out of the game earlier because I was hurt and was trying to avoid using a health potion. And you may notice um, I was in a fight in the last video and my um, health is now fully restored from when I quit out. So... I've got a feeling that's not like something I can exploit readily, but it did feel really strange because I don't think I saved before using the heal potion, but anyway. So at the moment, we're supposed to be leaving for the new world, so to speak, but before that, we've got some uh, you know, stuff to do to clean things up. So we were asked by one of our political allies to um, root out some heretics. I'm not so down with the rooting out of heretics. I'm, I'm kind of content to let them, you know, believe what, what they think they should believe. Um, particularly when it's not like it's a crime here. Like, literally, he's just like, would you, like, arrest these people who were getting ready to leave? It'd be great if you did. So, we'll take some more stuff from a box. Um, our other alliance, so it, feel, it did dawn on me that it feels like we kind of have our allies who, you know, we have the Teleme, which is, it feels like not Rome. That, you know, we've, they've got a very, you know, Catholic Inquisition kind of bent to them. Um, very, like, missionary-oriented. And then we had the Bridge Alliance, who feel like the not-Ottomans. You know, we've... You know, we, then they, they were kind of doing, like, you know, alchemical stuff. And they had asked me to root out, you know, a false alchemist. Which, given that I think we've... Oh, there we go. You can see the text there. Come celebrate the miracle of science. So... Um, so the alchemy thing is, you know, we'll take for granted that alchemy, like, is actually, like, an actual legit thing in this world. And as such, oh, hey, the signs just kind of pop up. I don't have to click on it. All right. I have a tavern, port quarter. Okay, cool. That's handy. Good to know. Anyway. So, since alchemy's here, I guess, you know, as a, I, I, when I'm not playing video games, I'm a, I'm a math teacher, so, you know. Sort of my STEM discipline tells me, you know, can't, you can't be having with bad science. Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Oh dear. Toothache. Everything. Stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. What about that plague thing? And more still, this little file. What about the is plague? Is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this oh, there we go. We got can the plague. heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But Oops. your question is legitimate. So if you can't cure so this, is panacea really accurate? To finding the cure. I mean, doesn't panacea mean but it cures Malachor everything? Isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer? Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance. And give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? He's angry. Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That <laughs> being said, it is known that those in top health Resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. Is he a dead you squirrels right. hanging in his He's a deal. Skull? I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. For a second, I thought this was a dead person on a pile of coins, but, um, I don't think, uh, I, did he take the panacea, sir? Maybe you should have, like, offered this guy some panacea. Just saying. All right. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all finally. honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. 
you will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. An intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Um... Okay. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Okay, so now... Look at his cart. I'm not going to be able to... I'm probably not going to be able to burgle a potion from this guy. I'm kind of scared to walk away now after the previous thing... Plague Doctor guy's probably alright. Um, is there a stealth mode or something? Oh, no. Put away your sword. I'm looking at his cart. How would we look at his... I mean, isn't this... Is, is this not his cart? Hmm. Yeah, I have to admit that I, I was kind of wondering when it, like, cut away. Like, I'm guessing they couldn't... <laughs> I'm guessing the development team couldn't figure out how to make a drinking animation? Yeah, some more... Uh, uh, these guys probably could have used some panacea over here, too, from the looks of things. Yeah, that, yep, they're, they're pretty... Yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm more than a little curious now as to how exactly I'm supposed to deal with this. I'm supposed to unmask him somehow, but I don't know how to get a potion from him. So. Have you finally made up your mind? I will think about it. As you wish. But don't wait long. It won't last forever. Well, uh, I'm, I've got a feeling it'll last precisely until I figure out how to get hold of a vial of the potion, but... This cart? I'm trying to figure out if this is one of those things because I didn't do the right skill investment. Like, I'm stuck? Like, without being able to swipe a potion? to force him to drink himself. I'm not quite sure how to pursue that. Well, while I'm thinking about it, let's see here. I think this was the way to where the uh, coin... Find all you need in our oh, what's this? You need to some crude iron ore and some hawthorn, which I need to make the health potions. Okay. There's a, there's a guy. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Uh... Do I have anything to sell? No, I don't want to sell the... don't want to sell gear. But there's... I found some magic potions, right? They don't sell for much. I don't... It doesn't seem like it's worth it, so... Okay. Yeah, these are just ingredients to make stuff, so. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Yep, yep, here's sick people. You just that is a big old mortar and pestle that woman has in hand. Okay. This is where I, I think this is the coin guard. Where I'm supposed to Maybe? Alright, let's check the map. 
Ah, I can't get the cursor to cooperate. There we go, yeah. But before I do this, look around and see if there are lootable containers, because, I mean, I am an RPG protagonist. Despite being a member of the gentry, and still seems like everybody's totally okay with me just, like, opening containers along the side of the road and just collecting stuff, so. Alright. Here you go, friend. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The oh. commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier for d as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. I'm asking ah, him. But you don't mind asking <laughs> that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less... Uh, illegal that'd be good uh, that would be fine the method matters not but this cargo must reach the isle on the next ship marvelous well then i await your return with utmost impatience i'm certain you shall do what's required huh is it just me or does it look like the i think it's just a, a quirk of the lighting effects but yeah it looks like that like the guy's like bookshelves are on fire behind him like they're smoldering but uh, anyway, so, so that quest still isn't done after we threaten to arrest a guy for, you know, following orders. There's a plague doctor guy. Okay, he's just coughing. Alright. Hey, I can actually make healing potions now. I got a beast essence. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do. It says thing about the alchemist's cart. Oh, wow. Maybe I should get out of here. There's, like, many dead bodies. Hmm. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does oh, that's... I, I was thinking, is that the alchemist? From, like, the, like I said, like the charlatan alchemist? Okay, no, that's just the merchant. Who's... I wonder if we can get back behind here. Maybe that's the cart behind here? Let's see. I end up... Ah. Wait a second. What a, what a dead bird. There's maybe dead birds. Um. Oh lord. And death to the others. Okay. So yeah, this this dude's got some uh got some goons to have a silver signet ring. Okay, sure. Take that. Like that just says sell it to a merchant. It's old leather coat. That is an improvement on what I'm currently got in every way, right? Okay. And a health potion. Hey, nice. Should there not have been one more? See these barrels? It's like, I'm glad I didn't accidentally attack those. Old embroidered doublet. Worn spiked hammer. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Ah! Camera kind of got away from me there. So there's a lot of stuff back here. Hmm. Charlatan's Antidote. There's an alchemical research book. Covered in small, almost illegible handwriting. Experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. 
Uh oh. Wait. Hold on. This really was. He really is an alchemist? Huh. Keeper to the servant. Louise, the weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs, specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something. So, leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. Um, okay. Well, we've got an antidote here. Oh, loot the other dead body. Magic potion and gold coins. Need to watch my inventory, you know, limit. I don't know how much I can carry here. I really do want to check. Are these dead birds? Yeah, dead. that's one dead bird. Poor, poor press. As you gonna say, pay respects to dead bird. Also, why is there a... Who was mining right here? Why is there a pickaxe? What? Huh. Kind of want to, like, explode this now. <laughs> Alright. So now I'm guessing alchemist guy. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. Truth. No, look. Oh. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. I mean, I killed like five goons behind your shop. Here. Doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I. You don't have the right. Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Oh, yeah, the tavern. That's right. Um, let's see here. Tavern's this way. Run! Alright. Wait, is this the tavern? Tavern. Indeed it is the tavern. Alright. Hey, you won't mind me taking these uh, coins off your you know, tabletop, will you? What the heck? What is with these people? Sure, I'm just... I'm waiting to see, like, that my reputation with, like, the small folk has gone down by, like, five or something, because I just keep, like, lifting coins off, like, countertops and stuff. Mr. Desardet is a kleptomaniac. Is the room down here? Nice hat. Um, alright, let's check the map. Always good to have a map. The upper floor is where I, th I was thinking, I, I thought the note said I was supposed to go upstairs, but... Did I miss the upstairs? Is this door maybe? Aha! Oh, we had to, we had to, we have to load the stairs. All right. I think how the charlatan just like teleported, like he's a like got a freaking cape of the mountebank or something. Good night in the morning. There's a horseshoe. Yeah. Hey, friend. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? They're there for him. Nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin. Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Um. Why does okay. Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. <laughs> are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. 
I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? Yeah, that's yeah, that's not that really much better. That is completely unethical. Than... I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case. But a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. What that innocent. guy buy too? I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Has he really committed a crime? I don't... Ah, uh, this, is a, this is a tough one. Um... I don't really think he's committed a crime, right? I mean, unethical is not necessarily the same as illegal. I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I mm. haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Okay, well, while you're looking here. Oh, so this guy's name is Arif? Okay, those, those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules do not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments. There is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. Oh dear, your friend who didn't even have the courage to put his name down. Oh man. Yep, that's pretty serious. So yep, we've we've stumbled into an ethical quagmire. Uh, oh. so now I gotta get him out of the city. Somehow or another. Okay. The store room. I'm Okay, so I just swiped a key to the innkeeper's storeroom. wonder if that's the discreet way to get him out. Hmm, alright. So I'm gonna try to talk down the mob. I don't know if it'll work, but worth a shot. Can I go, to the, go in the other direction? That's the way to exit the tavern discreetly, the other way. Okay. Um, hmm, alright. Maybe I can talk down the mob. That'd be nice. Speak to the angry citizen. Please listen, I beg you. If you wanted to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Is this the guy who Believe bought two earlier? Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm like a leg. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he could be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday. You'll see. Hmm. Let's try proposing a settlement. I can procure you some excellent potions as long as you promise to put an end to this. True potions of healing like those you thought you were buying. Why are you some sort of alchemist then? I hope you're not the same feather as the other. If that's the case, we have enough rope to hang the both of them! Trust me. I swear that each and every one of you will receive one. Ugh, our trust was already given. We're going nowhere without seeing a merchandise. Such a large number of potions. 
This story's gonna cost you a fortune. I should be able to prepare them myself. Just need to gather the ingredients. Wow, I'll eventually get to go to this island. Good lord. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I can prepare more. I'm morning. No, yeah, let's see. Here's the crafting table. So, I do have enough now. Whoops. So I learned to navigate the menu. I love that the healing potion, which is probably the one you'd, like, craft most often, is, like, at the very bottom because it starts with, like, you know, yeah, why they're way down here, I don't know. Uh, I can craft one. Like I said, I kind of feel honor-bound at this point to figure out how to get another one, so. Eh. Um, where was Merchant Guy? Merchant Guy was back this way, right? What is this? To the family of the rich man who provoked us. We have him and we will kill him if you don't pay us handsomely. Come with a full purse to the alley south of the old warehouse district. Um. Oh dear. Okay. Where was the merchant guy? Alright, let me look at the map. Where's merchant guy? Oh, and the merchant was up past. Yeah, that's right, the tavern was on the way to the alchemist's stand. Okay. I will figure this out eventually. Doesn't help that looking at the map, I end up finding routes that are, like, blocked. buying healing potions. This is not good. Okay. I said I do kind of I do kind of like just wish I had just snuck him out now, but now that I've like accidentally You'll promised these people stuff. In our selection. What if Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Uh well first, let's sell some stuff to see if we can, you know, figure out how to pay for, you know, what I've trapped myself into. Um, alright. Yeah, sell the, ma sell the magic potions. Okay. That, how much money did that get me? 63, I'm up to 63. Okay. Oh, I have these rings, it just says to sell them, sure. Get rid of them. Um, let's see here. All right. Oh, okay, and I can push a button to toggle. Also, I don't want. I don't. Wow, that was a great pose I jumped into when I was had the chance to grab this axe. Um, let's see. Can I buy beast essence from this guy? Of course not. I can. No, oh, no, I can't buy beast essence. Okay. So. Uh, how much is an actual potion? I'll bet he sells healing potions too. Or not. Okay, so 23 for an actual potion versus 14 for uh, the el the entrance. Okay, so let's see here. I need... He has four... Oh, they're only three apiece. I was looking at the numbers wrong. Um, okay, yeah. Just buy a bunch of them. Let's see. Purchase. How many do I want? What did I have? I think... I think visit. that should be See enough. Yeah, sure. Um, let's get back to the crafting table. <laughs> Love that these guys are just completely content to like watch me run past them. Um, okay. uh oh, I oh, can't get through that way. Come on, angry citizens. So I think I can only make three more with what I've got on me. Let's see. Scroll all the way to the bottom. All right. So yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, so I can go ahead and make. That leaves me with. And I'll still have two potions for myself. Sure. Okay. Do you have those potions you promised us? Why are you yes, yelling at me? Here they are. Hey, did you see that? 
That other alchemist kept his word. I hope these are good ones. The color looks like it should, not like those others. Oh, well, that's good. Well, then, since you want us to go, then we'll be going. Come on, everyone. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. All right, so. Um. <laughs> uh, game? Did you seriously just let me keep all of the potions I crafted? Um, okay. Fantastic. That's awesome sauce, I suppose. All right, cool. So I crafted some potions, and then it turns out they didn't take them. All right, I'm down with that. Let's let's tell him the good news. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. I wonder why. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. All right, so we've let the alchemist escape because he apparently was like an actual alchemist. So it wasn't bad science, just somewhat unethical science. So um, looks like this is a good place to press pause on the video before I go back and talk to Dr. Zaheen about what's ended up transpiring. So once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the uh, previous videos in the series if, uh, if you want to see exactly what got Mr. DeSarde. And again, I'm going to come up with a first name for him eventually. Anyway, Nimrandir and my team of jaunty-hatted Greedfall characters will be with you next time.